All right, y'all, good morning. Or not good morning, it's five o'clock right now. I am so, so excited. We're going night fishing with our front canal neighbor. He invited us, me and my dad, and we're gonna go bottom fishing. And I'm just so excited because this is something we have never done on this channel. So I'm so excited. So yeah, we're gonna get everything ready and then we're gonna head out there. fishing ground it is kind of choppy not gonna lie but we're in like 70 feet of water he has a spot here um, the current's kind of weird there's like not really current it's just wind like pushing so but we're trying to get the current to go to the north so it brings the Gulf Stream residue and the fish start biting um, but yeah we're gonna put some chum in we're gonna prepare the oats and yeah, let's see what we could get. I don't need to make believe and make your dreams come true. This night means forever and so does me. We say we love, we say we love. We gave it all, we gave it all. We say we love, we say we love. You were just in a street until something better came along caught a remora that's about it um he thinks he was hooked to a shark and then the remora just caught on um but are there fish here there's i have something in the line here but you took too long to reel it and it went into the hole oh it's my fault but it's your rod that makes a lot of sense so you get it get it you said no there's nothing there <laughs> yeah so he's trying to fight the fish out of the rock right now um i kind of gave up but nothing's biting so we'll see So here I began to rig my live shrimp. So I started off by threading the hook through the tail center to hide the hook from the fish's view and to make sure that it is hooked well so the shrimp doesn't come off. Then I made sure to toss it in the chum slick so it blends well with the chum. Trying to take it out of the rock. Yeah, that's with the <laughs> we have a broken right, rod over here. These are some pros. Man, that's my favorite rod. I don't know what we want to eat Now fits you. Oh my god. <laughs> Deje trancarlo un poquito. Pump. Y cuando goes down, crank. No lo enredes con esta línea, eso no lo deje venir para acá. Adelante, gente, eso lo dice. Thank <laughs> you. 
Lo mismo trigger fish. Dale, ve aquí. Me mira bicho ahí. No, imagínate, bro. Bro, that's... That is big, bro. That is beautiful. Wow. <laughs> well, that is big. Wow, that's beautiful. That is big. Thank you, Barker. I know how to catch fish. <laughs> yeah, that is huge. We were just in a state until something better came along.
What's your prediction? 12. 12 pounds. What's your prediction? Uh, nine. I said 11. Let's see. I want to I think you gave me one too. Ah, I won. the kitchen we are going to do ceviche with trigger fish we're gonna wash it first and then we're gonna cut it and then put it in the bowl so we're gonna show you that now okay so I'm gonna cut them I'm gonna cut them long like this and then I'm gonna cut them in chunks after so I'm gonna go like this and the thinner you go the better it is because it gets the texture and the taste better so it's better to go thinner rather than thick and you go here and then you just Then you grab them and then you just put them in the bowl. Alright, so now we're gonna do the cilantro. You cut off the butt or the end here and then you just throw these away and then you cut them really small. Then you get it and you cut it even smaller. You just. You want the cilantro to be really, really small because then. It tastes too much like cilantro in one chunk. So we've already put uh, two of the tomatoes in there and then one of the onions. So all we have left is one more because we're putting two of each. So we're going to do that now. And then after all that's done, you get a spoon and you just mix it all together. So this is optional, of course, but we put a little bit of sriracha. And then you just put a little bit just to give it a kick. And then you get uh, lemon juice and then you put it over, which is what cooks the fish. So then you put it in until it's all covered. So now that it's all covered, mix. you mix it top it all off you get a little bit more salt and then you just add it on top mm -hmm. then you mix it all together and then you're done now you have to let it sit for a couple hours and then you'll be good to eat it okay yeah yeah a moment of truth follow it Boy, try it. Está rico. Yay. Dad, we never got your review on the ceviche that I made. Huh? The ceviche, what was it? One through 10, what was it? It was a nine. Wow, not a 10, why not a 10? Because you can never give it a 10 because there's always room for improvement. Oh wow, okay. In life, that's the way it is, it's never a 10. Is that a new dad lesson that you're giving? That is a truth, a oh. fact oh, okay. of life. Thanks, Robert. I really go. appreciate That's that one. Me. Well, I guess we're going to end the video on that. At least I, I didn't, know. Hey, at least I didn't give you a five. Okay, yeah. Hey. Because that means you would have five points to go up. I only <laughs> gave you one point to go up. Okay. Well, which, which means it was very good. Well, Robert is very judgmental, so I'm taking that nine and I'm running with it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All right, or, or you can stay with it. All right, well, we're, we're ending this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed. So peace out, Girl Scouts.